Hello and welcome to this video on DevOps orchestration. In this video, we will cover the following. What is automation and orchestration? Why does the industry need DevOps orchestration? How to relate DevOps with orchestration? The key benefits of DevOps orchestration. The investments and technology stack required for orchestration and an example of a success story. DevOps teams would like to move fast and would want to ship faster. But most organizations would want to build up tools to allow sharing across teams and to gain an understanding of scale. This is where automation and orchestration play a key role. It ensures that they orchestrate all of these tools in an efficient and easy to review way. So what is automation and orchestration? To repeatedly perform a task or combine several processes to complete performing a task is what automation does. Though automation is a complex process in scope, it works on accomplishing a single task, like deploying a server. On the other hand, orchestration is more than just combining the little task and performing a larger script. The small tasks are put together into a workflow by orchestration services that includes many of the automation tasks. Keeping in mind the steps that might streamline the workflow, task automation is perfect for improving numerous steps in one area and does not comply once you move beyond that particular area. This process of the movement of the product through multiple departments from the beginning to completion state is called a workflow. IT and applications make use of the same logic as not everything that is related to technology can be put under IT. Now why does the industry need DevOps orchestration? The industry will be able to gain the following using DevOps orchestration. Manage and enforce the coding standards, guidelines and conventions. Identify, build and deploy release tools for quicker or faster releases. To improve the release process and have error-free releases. To define, control and maintain third-party software and its versions across environments. Define and enforce performance and load at customer or service level. The IT culture has changed after the introduction of DevOps as it combines the work of the developers, operations and quality assurance testers to improve the quality of the end result. Traditionally, the barrier that existed among these groups has restricted automation efforts. Therefore, in a DevOps environment, service orchestration has proved to be the most beneficial to an organization. Orchestration has been built in a way that allows it to work within the barriers and above them. DevOps team has to coordinate among themselves as well as employ various tools. This is precisely where orchestration comes in, extracting the portions of automation from the various DevOps toolkits. This means that the internal change in a DevOps team can be a gradual process. While orchestration services can take advantage of the interfaces that are already available, teams can set long-term goals that include taking up the original tool sets that the orchestration provides. This ensures that the team can prevent the rip and replace method that prevails in IT service delivery. This also removes the added effort of having to stop and recreate everything from scratch by allowing the team to quickly create automation tasks and integrate them into an orchestration platform. Applying orchestration in DevOps makes it smooth to shift the focus to the tasks that are critical. When the developer requests for a resource and gets it approved, the resources are made available through automation. After deploying the resource, it is networked and deployed again with the required software through automation that the orchestration controls. Then, via automation, the virtualized resource is added to the monitoring toolkit, which is again under the orchestration's control. In this way, it is very clear that orchestration controls the work of automation. Some of the key benefits of DevOps orchestration are problems are resolved faster, complexities are easily managed, software delivery is more continuous, there is a higher engagement among employees, more opportunities are available for professional development, there will be more productive teams. Separate tools performing different functions are joined together by orchestration. It sets up security checkpoints and safeguards to remove the steps that are missing and issues in configuration in the process from product creation to deployment. Helps to target critical goals and approvals. Human element gets removed, thus making the process less viable to human errors. Investments required for orchestration workflow are People There must be a confidence and trust in the team members' capabilities 
to perform the tasks on their own. Culture aligned to a common goal are high performing cross functional teams. And finally, process. There must be a move to a more automation adaptive and collaborative structure from a more siloed and manual approach. Some of the technologies used here are Chef, Jenkins, Salt, Puppet, Ansible, and others. Amazon, after moving into a more DevOps oriented approach, increased its revenue and allowed its engineers to scale capacity up and down, keeping the number and duration of outages reduced. It also transitioned into a more continuous deployment process. Hey, want to become an expert in cloud computing? Then subscribe to Simply Learn's channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in cloud computing, click here.